Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to learn about how to play the Kia as white against the French. But before we get into that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more great opening videos. So the Kia is a very easy, very straightforward opening to learn. It's something that's great if you don't want to learn a bunch of theory. Um, and just kind of want to play system. So here, e4, e6, and something that you really want to remember is whenever black can go d5, we have to be ready to play knight d2. Um, so here, the only way to play knight d2 is by going d3. Obviously, we could go d4, but that would be the tarash after knight d2. So here, d3, d5, and now knight d2. We don't want to go knight f3 or something else, because if he takes here, takes here, he gets to trade queens, and now we're just worse um, with white, and we want to strive for more. Um, same thing, you don't want to go knight c3, because if knight f6, let's say now we try this again, take, knight takes, take, take, and once again, queens are coming off the board, so we're not happy there. So here, after knight d2, we're going to see knight f6, knight f3, and really try to remember this setup. Because um, all you have to do with the key is, is remember where do you where your pieces go, and kind of the move order. So here, g3, knight c6, bishop g2, um, and basically bishop e7, or maybe even b6. Um, probably you're going to see bishop e7, but just in case, b6, we castle, let him take, take, bishop a6, rook e1. And now you're going to see a very important idea in the key at e5. So basically you're going to see this a lot, um, white wants to grab space, um, kind of have good outposts for his pieces, um, and then just slowly attack the king, basically bring everything over to the king and try to get a nice attack. So here if knight d7, we're going to go knight e4, um, he can't take on e5 due to tactics with this diagonal, so we're fine there. Um, so that's what we do there if early b6, now instead what you'll probably see is instead of b6, probably bishop e7. They can try to go bishop d6, but remember how we want to play e5. Now e5 will be even stronger because it'll fork the bishop and knight. Um, so maybe they'll play it. Probably they won't. Um, both are definitely possible. Um, but bishop e7, we're going to castle. And now if he castles, we're going to go e5. We get this move in, and we're happy. Knight d7, rook e1. Um, and then just keep reinforcing this queen e2. Very important move. You don't lose that e5 pawn. Lose that e5 pawn. Um, that's kind of losing your focal point um, for your offense. So this, knight f1, and now we just start maneuvering. And whenever they get close enough to play a3, I like to play a3 myself. Um, so here b4, and now we just completely ignore that whole left side. So bishop f4, take, take, rook b8, knight e3. He can't take on e5 because we can take, take, take on d5. And you'll just see. So don't remember this move order. Just try to remember what the idea is, what we're trying to do. Trying to get e5, get space, and then just maneuver over to the king side. You're going to see this knight's probably going to come to g4. We're going to have h5, h6, knight g5. Even knight takes d5 ideas with pushing, attacking the queen, the rook, and this knight. Um, so that's what we're going to do here if he tries to castle. Now instead of castle, maybe you'll see something similar to what we saw before with b6. So here we just do the same thing. And now we're going to push for e5 and then d4 and kind of just have that strong center. Um, so I'm doing this and just very very normal straightforward stuff that you'll see all the time in the Kia And lastly if they take on e4 take castle, we're gonna go e5 once again um, So really 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 try to remember this idea Knight d7, rook e1, reinforce here, queen e2, b6 And now we're gonna go b3 um, Maybe one day bishop a6 we can go c4 And also we want to go bishop, t bishop b2 Reinforcing this pawn on e5 So remember the key is super super simple the big things that you have to remember are when he can go d5, make sure you're ready to play knight d2. So here we go d3, here knight d2. Um, and then remember a little bit later on, when you can, push this e5 pawn. But be very, very careful not to push it too early. If you push it too early, then you're just going to lose that pawn. And um, it's going to be very hard to attack without your e5 pawn. Uh, so just really try to get familiar with those, these ideas, really practice them. And then you're going to get this position basically every single time, which is a great thing with the Kia. So hope you guys enjoyed that video and hope you guys were entertained.